D2L Brightspace. Quick Start, Temple College. Start at www.templejc.edu. Choose Connect, then D2L. Username, last name, plus first initial, plus last three of your student ID. First time login password, last name, plus first initial, plus last three numbers of your student ID. After changing your password, you will be taken to the Temple College news page. The Temple College news page contains news about what's going on at Temple College. At the bottom of the screen, you can find links to the Respondus Lockdown Browser if needed. You can find a link to Smart Thinking. This is a 24-7 online tutoring service. And there's a link to Smarter Measure. It's a short test to let you know how well prepared you are to be an online student. At the top of the page, you can access campus-wide discussions like buying and selling textbooks, find answers to frequently asked questions, links to tools that may be useful with Brightspace D2L, the manual, plus links to your email account, etc. This icon will let you select a course. This icon will let you read messages, very similar to an instant message, also called the pager. This icon will let you know what's changed in your class, such as a new piece of information being released or a test being graded. Click your name. Go to profile. Perhaps upload a picture. Put a nickname. Fill out information about your social network life. Do not put an address or phone number. Just share information that other people in your class may be interested in. Selecting a course. Choose the course that you wish to use. This is your course news page. Think of it as the whiteboard at the front of a class. This is where information from your professor can be posted that they want you to see right away. Content. Think of content like the table of contents in a book. It may be organized by chapter. It may be organized by week. It may be organized by topic. Click the first item. Once you've read it, move on to the next item. Within a few clicks, you should find the syllabus. Click here to add a bookmark. Now if you come back to the table of contents, you can quickly access any bookmarks that you've set for yourself. The check marks indicate you have already looked at something. Discussions. Select the forum you wish to use. Click the topic that you're interested in reading about. You can reply to the thread. You can answer a question left by your faculty member by choosing Start a New Thread. Dropbox. If content is where your professor gives you information, such as notes, study guides, PowerPoint presentations, or links to items on the Internet, the Dropbox is where you give your professor files they need to grade. Notice there may be due dates. Select the Dropbox you wish to interact with. Choose Add a File. Browse to the file you wish to upload. Choose Add. If you loaded the wrong file, you can throw the file away here, or you could add additional files. You could leave your professor a comment, but when you're finished, you need to click Submit. You'll get a notice that your submission was successful. Later on, select Dropbox again, you'll see the score, and be able to access feedback. You can always select Submissions to see what items you turned in.
quizzes. Some tests you can take as many times as you like. Some tests you can only take once. Some tests you can take multiple times for a grade. Some classes it will be the highest score that counts. Some classes it will be an average. Some classes it may be the first score. Make sure you check when the quiz opens and when the quiz finishes. Select the test you wish to interact with. Read the instructions. Read the introduction. When you're finished, choose Start Quiz. Notice there are two pages on this quiz with a total of six questions. Some classes let you browse backwards. Some classes only let you move to the next page. This is a multiple choice. It says to click this one. Make sure that it saves. Notice the check mark indicating the question is saved. Move on to the next page if needed. I'm going to miss one to show you what that looks like at the end of the quiz. This is what a true-false looks like. I would say this is easy so far. This is a matching question. Yellow is the color of the sun. Green is the color of grass. And blue is the color of the sky. Notice some answers might be used more than once. Some answers may not be used at all. I'm in such a hurry that I miss this next question and I'm looking at this question, which is an essay. The computer cannot grade essays. The computer can grade true-false, multiple choice, matching, ordering, and it will attempt to grade fill-in-the-blank and short answers. Your professor may need to grade fill-in-the-blank short answer and they definitely need to grade essay questions. I'm going to click Submit Quiz. Note, I have not completed question number five. It reminds me that I didn't answer one of the questions. And I'm allowed to go backward in the test, so I can go back to question number five, which is a fill in the blank. What color is a traffic light when you need to stop? Now there's actually two answers, red and yellow. I might set it up so red gets full points and yellow gets partial points. If you type in an unexpected answer like crimson or amber, give your professor a chance to grade it. I'll type in red. Now all my questions are saved. Now I'll submit the quiz. Your professor determines what you see when you submit the quiz. You may only see a message that says check back after a few days. You may only see the questions that you got wrong, but not the answer. You may see all the questions. They may or may not indicate which ones you got right. It all depends on what your professor wants you to see. I got the first one right, one point. I missed the second one, no points. In this case, no help on which one I should have selected. True-false I got right, the matching I got right. I got the fill-in-the-blank question. But it's marked my essay as wrong. Your professor has to grade essay questions, so I know once graded, my grade will be higher. Class list. Select the name of someone that you would like to message. You can click the pager to send them that instant message or select email. The green dot indicates someone is online. Grades. This is a list of grades earned. It doesn't tell you what your current standing in the class is. This is the beginning of the semester, so I don't have any grades. Click your name and choose progress. This will show you how many times you've logged in, what you've reviewed, which discussions you've done, which Dropbox you've completed, 
which quizzes you've attempted. You can also drill in deeper to see exactly when you logged in and how long you were online. Please note, your professor can see all of this information as well.